everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. I've made a lot of wreath videos in the past. However, I haven't really taken the time to up close show you some of the steps that I think are the most important. So I have been asked to do that. So I want to show you, obviously, it's 4th of July time. I'm making a 4th of July wreath and I am using my deco mesh. I have already pre-cut most of it. I'll cut some of it for you so that you can watch exactly different techniques in cutting, different reasons for why I cut longer pieces and shorter pieces, and how it all turns out in the end. Let's get started. I do wanna show you what I'll be using for this video. I have a few different types of ribbon over here. This is kind of a white silver. I have a red shimmery a blue and this is kind of a white silver with a red stripe i also bought these really cute little bows and i'll be using a lot of deco mesh red blue white and then a red white and blue mix here this really really cute sign that i found at the dollar tree these little pom-poms that look like fireworks i got these at walmart of course the pipe cleaners that i cut in half to attach to the wire wreath form the wire wreath form and I also bought this red white and blue starred ribbon at the Dollar Tree but I've already cut it along with most of my deco mesh and my ribbon I wanted to get everything cut in advance so that while I'm putting it together I have everything I need now that I have everything cut I'm ready to get started the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make bundles of 13 pieces I can mix my deco mesh pieces with my ribbon and the only thing that i care about is i want to make sure that i have 13 pieces in each bundle at a minimum of course you can do more if you want if you do more than 13 bundles you might not want to cut your pipe cleaners in half because the more pieces you have put together the bigger the pipe cleaner you're going to need so take that into consideration i'm going to start with some deco mesh some of my pieces are a little bit longer and some of them are a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to take them and roll them up. There are two different techniques to rolling. You can roll them at an angle like this, which makes a longer and pointier piece. This just makes a piece that will stick out and make your wreath a little bit fuller that direction or you can roll it straight on just like this and that'll give you more of a curled look at the end and a smoother softer edge so it's up to you the look you're going for i'm actually going to mix and match i'm going to do some of them just a perfect rolled up piece to have a nice solid end. And I'm also going to do some rolled up at an angle so that I have longer pointier pieces to put it all together. So to get started, the bottom piece, I want to be at an angle. So I'm gonna roll this one up at an angle like this. And this is going to be the bottom of my stack. So this is piece number one. Second, I'm going to take a red, white, and blue piece and I'm gonna roll that at an angle as well and I'm going to crisscross that on top. So now I have two pieces. I'm going to take a white piece. I'm going to put this one on straight, a straight roll. So as you can see, it's a shorter piece because it's not rolled at an angle and it has the nice smooth pieces on the ends and I'm going to put that on top. So now I have kind of made an X with a piece over the top. I have the red, the red, white, and blue, and the white, and that's my third piece. I'm just going to hold them all together with my left hand while I roll or add pieces with my right hand. The next piece I'm going to take is a piece of ribbon. As you can see, I have cut the ends to match like that. There's a very easy way to cut these, and I'm gonna show you that here shortly. But this piece, I'm going to put on at an angle. So now I have a crisscross ribbon this way, and I'm going to now take another piece of ribbon, a red piece, and I'm going to put that the other direction. So now I've made an X with my ribbon. So now I have five pieces added on. The sixth piece I'm going to add is going to be another ribbon. It's going to be a blue piece of ribbon. 
and I'm going to put that one straight down the middle like so. That's now six pieces I've added, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to now add a blue piece of mesh, and I'm just going to roll this one up at an angle to make it a longer piece, like so. And I'm going to add that in a crisscross motion. That's piece number seven. I'm now going to add another red piece of mesh at an angle as well like this, and I'm going to crisscross it on top of the blue. And the next piece I'm going to take is going to be red, white, and blue, rolled up at an angle, put there on top. I now have nine. I'm going to add a piece of ribbon. This is the silvery white ribbon with the red stripe down the middle. I'm gonna put that one across at an angle. I'm going to use another red piece of ribbon. I'm going to put that across at another angle like that. Now I'm going to take one more piece of mesh. Let's do the white. And I'm going to roll it up straight. Sometimes you have to figure out how to do it when you're working one-handed, but if you do it right and do it enough, it gets easy over time. I'm now gonna put this white piece right on top. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 pieces. So I only need one more. And for this piece, I definitely want my red, white, and blue right on top. So now this is going to go right on top like that. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and with my left hand, I'm going to squeeze all of the pieces together. I'm going to bring the pipe cleaner around to the back. And with my right hand, I'm going to pull the pipe cleaner tight. And with my left hand, I'm going to squeeze it and get it as small as possible. That is my first bundle and that is my first piece. Now, obviously when I'm not explaining to you each piece and each step, it does go much quicker. Otherwise it would take many, many, many hours to make a wreath. The next thing I wanna talk about though is adding your pieces to the wreath. The wreath that I bought has multiple wire levels. So you have many, many options. To make a bigger, bigger wreath, the biggest wreath possible, you're going to wanna to attach all of your pieces to this top edge of the wire here. So you're going to want to put it on here and twist it like so around the back. And if you do them all the way around, obviously it's going to cover the bottom wire pieces and it is going to be at the biggest wreath possible. That's what I'm going to do for this project. But if you want to make a little bit smaller wreath, you can do exactly opposite. Attach it down here at the bottom. The other pieces will cover the top and it'll make a smaller, more filled in the middle wreath. You also have the option of making an even bigger looking wreath by doing top to bottom. It'll make your insert smaller, but it will make it look big and full. So keep that in mind when you're making your wreath. of each of the two types of rolling styles that I showed you. This has all of the mesh rolled at an angle. As you can see, the pieces are a little bit sharper and longer compared to this one. This one, all of the pieces are just simply rolled up straight, like I showed you. It has a smoother end, the pieces are a little bit shorter, but it's a little bit of a cleaner look. I actually like both and I mix them together, um, but I wanted to show you the difference so that you could decide which one you liked better when making your wreath. There are lots of different ways that you can cut your ribbon, but with this thick ribbon, I like cutting what's called a bow tail. The easiest way to do that is you just fold your ribbon in half like this and cut toward the point like that 
and it makes a perfect end. I love the way it looks when it's all scrunched together and put on the wreath. You also can cut at an angle. So I like to cut thinner ribbon at an angle so that it goes to a point. It's just a nice clean finish. When it comes to cutting your mesh, if you cut longer pieces, if you're going to do a straight roll like this, if you cut longer pieces, it makes a really, really nice flower looking end. If you cut shorter pieces, if you're gonna roll it at an angle, that works the best. I have a helper. Are you helping me make my wreath, Oliver? Oh yes, you're such a good helper. My wreath is finished. I have all of my pieces attached. The next thing I need to do is attach my sign and my firework pom-poms. The first thing I'm going to do is hot glue the pom-poms onto the back of the sign, and then I'm gonna hot glue the edges of the sign onto my wreath like this. I wanna make sure I use enough hot glue because I wanna make sure that it stays secure. All right, everyone, so my wreath is finished. I'm really happy with how it turned out. There was a little hole right here in the sign because it was made to hang. So I just took a little bit of red ribbon, tied a bow and hot glued it on. I really love the pom-poms. I'm gonna back up because I want you to be able to see the whole thing. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed learning all of the steps so that you can make this at home. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.